it's a one all, so I'm not there to settle the score. Two one, can't go back after that. I'm not gonna waste them. I've been training hard, and I'm not gonna put all this training for nothing. Nah, no fear, you can't fear someone. He's only got two hands. He bleeds just like me, so it's the same. It's sweet. I don't take any prisoners, man. I'm just going there and just do my job and get out of there, man. You're yeah. in there for one thing, is just to hurt your other opponent, you know? Boxing is just to see you can smash each other just with your hands, you know? Uh, I'm gonna do that on the night with my two hands. They would do, man. Be prepared because I'm coming to waste you. Fight fans and welcome to a ringside promotion. I'm Tony Robb and along with me tonight, Mike Lightning Ango, the former world champion kickboxer and a professional boxer. And Mike, great to have you here and for another Mike, Mark Michael show. And uh, yeah, got a big lineup tonight and starting off with a pro fight. Well, 15 fights, certainly, and they're all well-trained, trained like professionals last 12 weeks. Starting off with a barnstormer, Steve Hedemeyer, he has nine fights. He's got a corner tonight, so he put his pro fight first. This is a grudge match, of course. David Wiramu uh, managed to sneak his way into a decision victory uh, a few fights back. Steve since uh, righted that one, but... Uh, be interesting to see whether uh, Wiramu can sustain a frenzied assault from Hedemeyer, who is a renowned puncher. Well, we immediately see the height advantage that Wiramu has got, but that's uh, not new to Hiramea, who uh, always comes forward and he lands the first big blow of the fight with a right hand over what's, the top of the guard. What's good to see is uh, pouring with the jab. He's trying to get in, and that's what he's got to work. And you see Please. immediately, fast hands, uppercut left hook. Wiramu off his balance just momentarily. Now, Hiramea... Note how he is not going all out. He's still picking his shots. He knows he's got his man hurt. He knows he's got the power advantage. The sign of an experienced fighter, not just throwing caution to the wind this early in a fight, particularly when he's cold. Widemu going under the right hand quite nicely. Hittemeyer just needs to throw his shots a little bit lower, perhaps at the chest, and follow up with either the half left hook or uppercut. Of course, this one over six three-minute rounds. And so, as you say, Mike, plenty of time for the fighters to warm up. But a good start by Hittemeyer. Yeah, Hittemeyer yeah. just bobbing under. What a, what a very tentative punches from Wittemu. He's not going to put a lot of weight on, but again, notice he ducks low. Hittemeyer really needs to follow up that overhand with an uppercut. And nice left hook again, followed up by a nice straight right hand. If he straightens his punch out as well, Wittemu, of course, expecting the overhand right, and again, goes underneath it. Hittemeyer can't rely on the uh, cannon that is his right hand. He needs to use that left hand a little bit more and educate it. 
tentative start from Wiramu, who has uh, been on the defensive right from the first bell. I they haven't really seen him unleash with anything yet, but now starting to use that long jab of his with the left hand, both fighters. Yeah. Hitamaya just resting a little bit on the inside. I'd like to see him follow up that right hand just by going downstairs to the body. There, he's head hunting just a little bit. That's good, downstairs with the jab. Wittemu again, just sliding side to side, rolling with the shots on his shoulder. He doesn't have a lot of sting on his own punches. He's very rarely on the front foot. And as you can see, Hitamaya just making a miss with ease. Good work, right hand to the body. I'd like to see him follow up with a left hook to the head. Yeah, Wittemu very much on the back foot. Jeremiah has uh, controlled that ring right from the bell. Time running out in round number one, and he once again takes the judge's eye with a fast combo. Hands really working well. Clipped it with the right hand nicely. Notice how he doubled up with the right hand, cut the ring, stepped across, and then hooked the right hand across again. Wittemu just with a half uppercut, half jab. Again, Hitamaya, he's just trying to find range with the right hand. Just needs to do a little bit more work with the can opener, his left hand, just to set it up. Lovely venue here at the Langham Hotel. First time here for fight nights, and it is truly a stunning venue. Yes, opulence personified here. And uh, I'm quite glad the boys are quite short as well. You can see the roof is uh, quite close by. There's <laughs> some chandeliers hanging down. Put that first round in the books to Steve Hedemeyer. David Wurramu back to his feet, of course. Uh, a 65 amateur fight, so he, you know he's a, he's a, and this is his 41st professional fight, so he certainly knows his way around the ring. He never had uh, much go forward in round number one. See if he can pick it up here in the second. You can see immediately though he, he knows how to survive. He's a professional journeyman. You don't get 100 fights for nothing, although he did a nice long left hook from Hedemeyer. Hedemeyer just needs to fake a little bit more, get the first reaction, make him bob, make him weave, see where he's going, and then throw the follow-up shots. The other thing, he's doing it now, just keeping that jab down to the body. And again, using the left hand, as we suggested he should in the first round, just making it more educated, looking to land that bomb of a right hand of his. Fast hands, relying a little bit on the left hook there. Would have been nice to see him step across and hook with the right hand. crowd at this stage still fairly quiet I'm Pre pretty sure that's going to change <laughs> yeah as the uh, lubrication starts to work as, as the evenings uh, lubrication starts to set in and there's a few people they know nice body shot there from Hitomaya that's the kind of work he needs to do downstairs to the body to open up the head Wittemu I mean he's just content to be a survivor here he's not throwing a lot in the way of offense tentative punches he's not really set he's sitting on his heels although he doubled up on the jab quite nicely there Hittemeyer's just getting a, a touch frustrated he wants to let go he knows if he can connect with this boy he's going to have him in trouble well Wiramu's starting to find the distance a little bit the the pouring shots were uh, in round number one but he's actually landing a few sharp jabs and a few right hands in round number two here so things starting to come together for him too to, and hopefully they'll keep improving and make this fight interesting yeah what he's doing he's backing off and just as he backs off he steps in as he did there with a half beat jab so he's catching Hitomaya on the way in making him follow and then catching him with a half beat or a counter punch on the way in Hitomaya just again needs to fake a little bit more not get frustrated because when he gets frustrated he stands on the outside against these taller fighters and that's not something he wants to do because he gives away easy points nice body shot overhand right as well Good work, and again, slipping the, slipping the jab, got the timing on that, which of course what Wittemi has to be careful of. Caught that one on the gloves. Not that one though. The right hand, he's starting to feel it, starting to back up. It's got his attention. You always know when a fighter sticks his tongue out and uh, starts to motion to the other fighter, he's usually been tagged. <laughs> Hittemeyer just needs to go downstairs to the body now. He's got his man on the rope. That's it, the left hook. Wittemi chinned again with the right hand. It's the speed that's getting him in this point. Not quite the same cheeky look on his face. He knows he's in a battle now. Certainly is, and that's where we leave the second. Chris Martin climbs through the ropes and uh, pointing to go for a few body shots there, Mike. 
Well, he's asked him to, to step up the body attack, but double up from the body to the head, particularly with the right hand, then step across again and catch him, trap him against the ropes with another right hand. So just that second phase, which is what he needs just to continue to create a gap for himself. I'd like to see him himself go with that left hook to the liver as well. The head's moving quite well, but the liver doesn't move anywhere. And you can see shuffling backwards and forwards, side to side on the ropes, what a move. He's a cagey fighter. He's a professional survivor. It's what he does. Pittemeyer opening up with a combination. Good work there. And again, going downstairs to the body. He just needs to step off in second phase a little more. Good work again, slipping the jab. He started to get back that range. Head hunting a little there. Just needs to drop the right hand to the body. Steady his man up. Still plenty of spring in the step. Up on his toes. Coming forward, nice left jab from Wiramu. Yeah, he ate that one for his trouble. And again, Wittemur, he ducks down so low. Hittemeyer just needs that uppercut in there just to discourage him from dropping his head so low. But you, you notice Steve Hittemeyer's really got to get up on his back leg and, and explode in. Sometimes he, he just relies on his hand speed. That's a lovely body shot left hook. Again, he, he's winning these rounds easily. But this is the kind of fighter he needs to get out of there. If he's to take the next step in his professional career, he needs to be able to finish off these survivors and climb over the stepping stone, so to speak. He's just Four. not cutting off the ring at the moment. He's just following him just a little. Nice jab there. Six knockouts so far in the career of Steve Heremeyer. Out of the 19 fights, he's only lost four. A good record. Trying to build on it here tonight. And as you say, he'd like another... KO beside the name, but there's we're a little clip oh, on the back right of the hand. head, that overhand right. That's the way. Yeah. There's the uppercut that we said would catch him. Wittemu went down once too often. Hittemeyer set him up with the overhand right, caught him early, and then went downstairs with the uppercut, the punch that we said he was vulnerable to. He's a cagey man. He's tough. He's up again. He knows how to survive. Look to his corner. Unfortunately, it was the wrong corner. It was the red corner. Nice oh. body shot. And again, doubling out with the body shot to the uppercut. Wittemu holding on. The referee's warning him Use, for that. But using all his survival. experience. But uh, Hiramaya has got the sniff of blood now. Well, there's one thing he's very good at is finishing. Wittemu, cagey fighter, putting his arms underneath the show, underneath the armpits. Stop his man punching. Nice little body shot there. He's really backpedaling. The unicycle's going at full speed. Just needs to cut off the ring. Oh, oh, there goes that other uppercut again with the right hand. And Wiramu once again has to pick himself up off the canvas. And again, it was it was a set-up body shot. The right hand to the body and the left hook to the head that dropped him. He can't afford to go down a third time. That'll be fight over. There, there Here it goes. goes. And it's waved off. Good night, nurse David Wiramu. Well... His defensive qualities weren't enough to sustain a hungry Hittemeyer tonight. 2-1, and really the first loss was questionable. Steve Hittemeyer has got vengeance with a capital T. <laughs> okay, David. <laughs> Twenty-four-year-old, he's got a lot ahead of him. So, um, Steve Heremeyer. Well, he's got. He's as we said before. He's one of the most naturally talented fighters in the current division in New Zealand. Uh, he's got natural power. He hits like a cruiserweight. His major problem is because he's got such good hand speed and such good power. He tends to rely on that, and once he gets to a certain level in New Zealand, there's no one to challenge him. So there's a big step up. So I would love to see him step up and, and clean up the Australian's backyard. Well, there you have it. Steve Hittemeyer punctuating that victory with a knockout.